my bookish friends. I'm kind of coming to you guys a little bit late with my deck of TBR for February. Um, I'm also running on very low energy. Uh, it's been very rough here this last week. A um, lot of pain <laughs> I'm dealing with and I can't really take anything for it before my upcoming surgery on Tuesday. I'm hoping to get this video up this Saturday when I'm filming it. Um, and then February the 8th is when my surgery actually takes place. I don't know how many videos I will have coming up this month, so please bear with me. I don't know, like I said, how functional I'll be um, during my recovery, um, so just kind of bear with me. Hopefully my channel won't suffer too badly, but I, like I said, I don't know, and hopefully afterwards I can get back on my normal schedule. Um, it's been kind of rough, hit or miss. Um, I was hoping to get some videos pre-filmed. It just didn't quite work out that way. Uh, my reading has been kind of all over the place. I've been doing a lot of kind of light reading here recently, just easier reading in some respects. The content not so much as being light reading because um, the content has been harder. Um, just the topics being dealt with, but they're not as long of books, but we'll kind of get into that in a few minutes. So how did I do in uh, January, trying to keep my th thoughts on track? Um, kind of hit or miss, I would say. Overall, a great reading month. Overall, TBR-wise... So anyways, I'm going to be using these uh, TBR games is just as a guide and if I veer off from it, I'm okay with that. Um, just with everything going on, I tried to read as many of these as I could and then my mind decided it was going to go in a different direction and when I can, I will do my recent reads. Kind of got some ideas of how I'm going to be tackling those, what I did actually dive into in January. Whew. Um, and I'll update you on what I actually did get into in those uh, recent read videos when I can get those up for you guys. All right, so this is the stack of books that I was supposed to, oh, gotten read, and I'm still in a lot of pain, so that was a little difficult, but we managed it. Um, I ended up with seven books because I got the Joker card, um, which was an extra draw. For that extra draw, I ended up um, reading um, audio book, um, the last book of this series, um, The Queen of Sorrow. Um, so I did finish this one out. So I finally finished this trilogy out. Um, can't decide if I'm going to keep it on my shelves or if I'm just going to keep the audio versions of the book and get rid of the physical books. I haven't made that decision yet. Alright, the next book in this one was the Four of Clubs. This was supposed to be the year I was born. I couldn't find one on my shelves and I didn't have one on my TBR on the year I was born. So this one was the year prior, um, year before I was born. I only got um, to page 28, so start of chapter 5. I'm just not in the frame of mind for a book that's going to make me ball, and she's a great author. I'm just not, hey Nick's baby girl, she's talking to me. I'm just not in the frame of mind for the content of this book that I know is going to make me ball. So I'm just not yet ready to tackle this book. I may put it on maybe to next month or the month after and pick this one back up and read it because I do love the author. She just, her writing style will, like I said, just make me cry. And I'm just not in the right mind frame for, for that yet. All right. Woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me see where we're at. I think Mood Read was next, which was The Queen of Clubs, and that was supposed to be this book, which was Mortal, Heart, Mortal Hearts, which is the um, his, um, 
his fair assassins which is supposed to be a finishing up of another trilogy and i've only gotten into uh chapter uh page 44 so i haven't finished this one out so i'm gonna transfer this one over to the next month um or the month after like i said i don't know how many books i'm actually going to get read this upcoming month in February, because um, I don't know how awake I'm going to be and what my attention span is going to be for it. I will set up some books for this month and we'll see where I go with that. All right. Oh, okay, this one, this was actually a buddy read, but it also replaced um, Imaginary Friend, which was the 500 plus Five of Diamonds um, card that I pulled. I am so far behind in this one. I got to page 219. I'm um, far, far behind. Um, I got very um, fantasy heavy and I did fall behind in this one. Just so much was going on in January trying to get set up for this leave of absence I was taking for work and fantasy heavy that I just fell behind in it and I needed some lighter um, lighter books uh less chunkier books just everything going on so i did not finish this i will pick it up and i will eventually read more out of it i do am enjoying my read through it um from what i remember of the season one series of the production of it um it was following along fairly closely to it there may have been some slight changes but overall i am enjoying my read of this i will eventually pick this back up as I get my concentration back to such of a heavy, detailed world that is being um, dealt with with this one. So eventually I will get into that one again. My other buddy read, I did finish. I love this book. Um, the start of the series, it was a very well done first series, uh, startup of a series. A little angsty here and there um, with some things, but she is, I think, 19, 18, 19 years old. So I kind of, kind of expected that a little bit, but it is a dystopian world um, from Stacy Marie Brown. So um, I'm looking forward to diving back in um, to book two um, for this uh, Betty Reed. Um, so I'm at least caught up on this one. Um, they're not nearly as long as the Game of Thrones. So I will hopefully be able to have the attention span to continue on with this buddy read and talk about it in my Discord group. So at least that's, I think, my second book that I finished out of the four that we've talked about so far. Out of the seven, four, I finished two out of the four of the seven books. Yay! Rhapsodic. This was, what was this one for? This was Three of Hearts Fantasy Romance. I did finish this one, so I'm getting on the bandwagon. Yay. I did finish this one. I enjoyed it a lot. It was a very dark uh, fantasy romance. Um, I am looking forward to continuing this series. It was a dark fae fantasy. Um, I'm not used to that type of fantasy, so I am Looking forward to continuing it, picking up the second book. So this is only the first out of, I don't know if it's going to be a trilogy or a full-blown series. So I'm looking forward to discovering more of Laura the Lassa, I think is how you say her name. So I'm looking forward to picking up another book once I can make some progress. I will pick up the next book out of this trilogy, trilogy slash series, whichever it happens to be. And continuing on making progress with that one. Uh, let's see, the next one, this is Five of Spades, The Iron Hunt by Marjorie M. Liu. This was the non-human main character. Um, also is giving it a second chance. I don't know if I'm going to continue this series. It was good, but I don't know if I want to continue on with it. I will finish out some of my other longer series that I have and then see what I think about it because I know I have a lot of other series that I'm more interested in. Uh, it was a very interesting kind of demonic view on some things, demonic hunter, huntress, keeping the world safe type of thing, but I don't know if it's something I want to continue. I'm not fully set. I think I gave it three stars, and like I've said previously, I only want four and five star books on my shelves, so I'm not 
fully sold on this one. So I did finish it though. Yay. <laughs> so we're good. We're, we're going to end on a positive note, I think, because I got through the ones that didn't finish. I'm finishing it up strongly. Um, let's see. Um, the next one, Ten of Diamonds. This was a three or more word title. Um, I did finish it. I really enjoyed it. This was from my, um, excuse me, reveal book box, but it was also on my shelf. Um, books that I needed to get read. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a cute story. I uh, don't remember a ton about it now because it's been over a month since I've read it. I read it towards the beginning of January, but it was a cute story. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it around a I think I gave it around three stars. Um, yeah. It was cute, but not, I don't think I would, re I think if I remember right, it's not something I would reread again because um, it's kind of predictable and I don't want to keep predictable things on my shelves. But it was cute. I don't regret reading it, but it's cute. Um, and then this one, this was Atlas. This replaced the one, the Eight of Diamonds, less than 200 pages. This was the short stories I was supposed to read. I was just not in the mood for the horror stories, and I'm not a huge short story fan. So I picked up Atlas. Again, it was from my Reveal Book Box. This was by Shaw Hart. Um, this is a tattoo ink type of romance. I really enjoyed it. I've gotten into a little bit more of the um, grittier side of romance. It was phenomenal. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was a cute, very heartwarming story of pain, of loss, of coming together, not letting your past keep you down, and moving on, moving forward, and waiting for the one, and helping them move through the uh, pain that they're going through, uh, and that they're worth the wait. So, I... I enjoyed that one. So that was good. Again, it re replaced um, the prompt in the other book. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Yes, that one I will keep. I definitely can see myself rereading that one. And I think there are other books in this series as well. Uh, as well. So I think it's called Eye Candy Ink series. So I definitely would be consider um, reading more from that as well. Alrighty. So that is my update. So let me kind of shift these around so I have room to get space for my new drawings. Let me get a pen ready to be able to write down the new books. And then I have my page marked so when I get face cards, I will know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I still have it shuffled in all of the previous cards. They're still pulled until I get the ace, which will be coming up probably sometime soon because they're still all in. So let me do some shufflings. And I don't have my phone, so let me go get rid of that as well. And if you notice the light change, I've closed up my other curtain, so hopefully it's not too washed out from earlier. Alrighty, so let's finish shuffling and we will go from there. And apparently I'm not shuffling great today either. Oh heavens, we're gonna make it through. How I don't know, but we will. <laughs> Again, if I get that 500 word, that was a terrible shuffle. If I get the 500 word prompt, we, like I said last time, we're going to re spin the wheel because I've gotten that three videos in a row. And I don't have the attention span for that, which is why Game of Thrones is still. On docket. All right, so shuffled it many, many times. All right, so let us see what we got. So let's put it down. Okay, we think we got it too. So this is Eight of Hearts. So let me write it down. Clubs, diamonds. All right, so we got genre.
contemporary romance. All right, so the one I think I'm going to do for the contemporary romance, let me write that down if Nick doesn't lay into me. All right, this is the mixtape by Brittany Cherry. So this is Emery has never felt more alone. Raising her daughter is both her pleasure and her bane as she struggles to hold onto her job as a bartem bartender and keep a roof over their heads. Um, and then reeling from the death of his twin brother and bandmate rock, rock star Oliver Smith is trying to drink his problems away. So again, a rock star um, trying to overcome pain of his loss and then a single mother trying to raise their daughter, them combining their two worlds. Sounds like it's going to be a blast. Some heart-wrenching moments, but it sounds like it's going to be good. So can't wait to pick up this one. Um, I go. I'm also going to be continuing on my buddy reads. So this will also be the second book that I'll read. This is Wild Lands, um, book two of the Savage Lands um, series. This is a four book uh, series by Stacey Marie Brown. So again, I'm trying to limit my books down to at least six. So this will be my buddy read. I'm still continuing on the Game of Thrones. So that's will be my third book. So Game of Thrones, The Wildlands, and then the mixtape. So I have three more draws to go to keep in that six book um, total so that I'm not overwhelmed. Again, I don't know how many of these I will get to, but we will we'll try to see how many I get. And then I'll, so three more draws. Um, so I will know. All right just trying to keep things so I have some sanity with February. All right, so draw, which will be draw number four since I already have Game of Thrones, The Wildlands, which is my buddy read, and then mixtape. So draw number four, which will be, I'm struggling. So get it to focus for you guys so you'll know first. So this is Three of Diamonds. So let me write that down. And then we will get to the spin. All right, this will be Fiscal Aspect. That already be fun because that gets me into a lot of trouble. <laughs> All right. newest purchase all right i'm going to do the blacksmith queen by ga aiken again this was dealing with kind of a prophetic um changing of high um ruling uh, the kingdom where the old king died his sons were supposed to take over but there was a prophecy of a new queen coming in to play and so there is a battle taking place cannot wait to dive in. I talked about that in my video. So this will be my newest purchase. So, and it's relatively short, <laughs> which is what I'm needing currently. So, all right. So our next draw. will be the Jack of Hearts. So I'll write it down and then remind myself oh, what that means. Pick from a TBR cup. Well, that could be any random book over there. <laughs> Alrighty. So where is my TBR? One of those ones. So that's just a random pick from my chocolate TBR cup. Nix is joining us. There's her tail. <laughs> Alright, so this is, whoop, that one, the other one fell on the floor. I'll have to go reclaim. Alright, see what 
the TBR cup has in store for me to add. I don't know if it will focus for you guys or not. Alright. So the last vampire, Patricia, Rosemary, and This is the book that was chosen for me. The Last Vampire by Patricia Rosemore and Mark Paoletti, I think is how you say it. Um, so it says the little uh, caption, Spawned of Alchemy and Blood. He was the last of a brutal ancient line. Now he has just been reborn. So the tagline. Alright, so no rules, no limits, only hunger. Alright, so we will take a look at this one and see what I think about it. Alright, so that was the Jack. So that was our TB jar, TBR jar. The last vampire. All right, and then the last, last and final pick. Crossing our fingers, I did not <laughs> just jinx myself. And see what we got. He will know before I am. Okay, so our last card drawn was ten of spades. At least we got a nice variety of cards this time around. So let's see what we have in store. So these are prompts. This ought to be fun. Mythology or folklore inspired. All right. I'm going to take it on the darker side of mythology and folklore. Um, the possession is what I'm going to do. Now kind of hear me out. Alright, so this must says, Nolan, the host of Anomaly Files, has made his life work to pull the veil back on America's most tantalizing myths and legends entertaining and informing an audience of skeptics in the process. His motto in the search for the truth, it matters not what we find, it matters only that we continue to seek. So again, so I'm taking it on the dark side of myths and legends to do this one. So I like it. I like the covers upside down. It's um, by Michael Rutger, so it's The Possession. So I'm going to do this for the mythology and folklore but it's the darker side. So this is what I'm going to do. Taking it a little bit on the edgier side for that and see where we go from there. So that should be my sixth and final draw. Yep. So that is that. All right. <clears throat> see if I can hold up these books. So these are the current state of what I'm going to be reading. If for any reason I'm not into the books um, and I can find a book that will um, fit the prompt, then I will go um, and I will do that. Again, these are just trying to guide my reading. Um, if I don't get to them, I don't. Um, and then I will try to um, give it another chance another, um, another month. Um, but like I said, things are coming up this month. <clears throat> that um, need to happen, um, so I may or may not get to them due to, like I said, the upcoming surgery, and I'm going to be out of it, um, but at least I'll have some things kind of in mind to kind of guide my reading for the month, and we'll just go from there. Have you read any of these books? Have you heard of any of these books? Leave me these comments down below, what your thoughts were, um, and all that good things, but until my next video, you guys, happy reading.